while this is the first, cri first major crisis that we've encountered as a political team, uh, many of us have been involved in various ways in various crises. Uh, I, was, uh, uh, I was involved in during the Asian financial crisis and uh, at the cent in running the Monetary Authority of Singapore when the global financial crisis happened. So the, there are a number of important things that I think we will, we'll have to learn. One is that uh, we must always be prepared for crisis. So we must have that mindset that we need to prepare for uh, something to happen that may not be our preferred trajectory. And that is uh, one important lesson. And two, it is important for us not to uh, fight the last war because our experience in one crisis does not guarantee that you can deal with the next crisis. Because in fact, there is a danger that we think that that this is how that crisis was fought and therefore we have the same uh, playbook. It cannot be. So for instance, if you look at our uh, crisis that SARS and uh, COVID-19, you know, both are uh, major infectious diseases, but the scale is, is quite different. The transmission mechanism of the virus uh, between the two are different. I think it has uh, it has sharpened our sensitivity to uh, challenges to unexpected events, and so, so some of these events are long term, and you can see a trend coming. Climate change is a very good example of that change. So whether we have to think in terms of multiple time frames, what are some events which can just suddenly happen, like COVID, like a financial crisis, for which it just it can take people around around the world by surprise for which you need to prepare for what are some events for which you need to build a global consensus that this is coming climate change is one example that this is coming it may not come in five years ten years but it will come in a hundred years so it's very important for all of us especially for Singapore as a small open economy to keep our links with a global institutions and to commit to a rule-based uh, multilateral order and at the same time uh, to work with like-minded countries in, uh, in our region uh, and around the world to look at how we can come together to catalyze action like what we did with the COVAX facility and what we are doing uh, now with uh, uh, Switzerland. We are leading the group to look at how we can uh, do this even better for the COVAX facility. Your original path that you're thinking of embarking on uh, may not be so clear now, but I think uh, if we uh, treat it as a, as a new venture, as an adventure that you need to go into, try new things and uh, just keep learning and uh, keep working together with one another so that we keep our society resilient, keep up your links with uh, family and friends, and uh, you know, if you go fall through a hardship, never mind. You try your best to bounce back. And when you see your friends falling to hardship, uh, you should lend a helping hand to bring everybody up. And together as a society, uh, we can each do our best. And the government will support you in this effort. But we can, we should do it together.